Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to go very basic step by step and we are going to learn about the all new AI powered self healing technology in test project and we will also see a very basic step by step practical demo and during this session if you find the speed of the video too fast or too slow you can always adjust the speed from the player settings. With that let's get started and let us first see what exactly is the AI powered self healing technology. Now in test project we now have a technology or a process that can help you in case there are any changes in the locators of your objects and this is a very common scenario while doing test automation that the locators change the properties of the objects change or we use dynamic object properties so with every run there are chances of failures and then we have to invest a lot of time and efforts in correcting all these locators and properties and then we have to do this for every run. So this helps a lot because it can handle the dynamic element changes in case there are any dynamic property changes with every run or if there are any backend changes from the dev team in a new release and the element locators that you have used or the properties that you have used have changed it can still handle that. So let us say you have a username text box and the ID property is user123 and this is what you have used in a locator while creating your test case and while you are running it in future the ID property changes to user345. So if we are not using the self healing technology then the step will fail and eventually the test will fail and then we will have to invest a lot of time and effort to make all the corrections. So with the self healing technology we can handle this and it can also handle dynamic nested frames like in Salesforce application it makes the maintenance easier and saves a lot of time and effort. So with that let us see a demo on how exactly we can use the test projects new enhanced recorder with the AI and self healing capabilities and for that I will go to my test project account I have already logged in. I will create a new project and I will name this as AI self healing demo. You can give some description which is optional and I will say create and in this I will create a new test. So for the test I am going to go to the to a demo application which is my automation blog and it is just a demo application and here I will go to the sign up page where I can provide an email and provide a password and repeat password and then click on sign up. So this is what I'm going to do and here I am going to copy this URL. I will click on create a test. It is a web test. Click on next and I will say this is self healing demo one and click on next and here I have to select the web application. So I'm just going to add a new application and give this URL of my blog and I will say this is blog app and click on finish and say next and now I will click on record now make sure that you do not use the legacy recorder and I will click on start recording also make sure that your agent is running and I will suggest that you use the latest agent so you can get the latest agent and run it so this should bring up a browser and a recorder window and yes we have a new chrome browser opening up and this will navigate to the application and here we have a recorder window where I can see my recorded steps so I will go to the email and give some email here and give some password repeat password and then I will click on sign up and you can see all these steps are recorded here and here if I go to the step so this is click on email text box and then adding the email so I actually do not need this step I will delete this I can directly type the email in the text box and if I look at this step you can see it has used the CSS selector that is name equals email and if I go to my application and this is the email box if I do a right click and say inspect here name is email and this is what it has used so this has used this particular locator if I click on search it highlights this 
on the application so this should be fine I can try to run this and check so this should run all the steps so it is adding the email password and everything is running fine and you can see everything is passed all the steps are passed here and now I will make some changes from the backend I will go to my applications backend and because this is my own application I can go to the backend and make some changes I will go to the layout and I will edit the HTML and here I will go to the email section and here it is you can see the name is email and this is what is being used in the test and I'm going to change this I'm going to change this to email one I will save this so now if I go and refresh this and here if I now right click on email and say inspect you can now see the name is now changed to email one let us now see what happens if we run our test case again I will click on run here and you can now see it has not able to find the email and now if you see here it is saying the expected element was missing and test project AI is now looking for another path so as of now test project AI is doing its work and it actually found the email box and it has executed the test and now I'm getting an information the test project AI found a better way to locate your elements during recording and this was the locator which failed and test project has suggested this locator and you can cancel or confirm this change so I'm going to confirm this and now if I go to this step you can now see the locator is now changed here also when you click on this edit and you go down you can see while recording it has used a lot of other locators during self-healing it can check with all the other locators and it can find the best locator if I go back to the test you can see here the steps which are passed are highlighted in green and the step that was auto healed using test projects AI is now highlighted with orange and we have this auto healing AI icon here if I go to the details it is again saying that it used this particular locator instead of the primary locator which failed so this was the original locator and the object or the element was searched by this locator so now if I run this again this should be faster because now the locator is already changed and you can see it is able to run our test so I will close this window now and go back to test project and if I go to this test you can see here for this step if I check the locators it is using the X path where it is using the placeholder property now what happens if I again change this so I will again go to the layout and I will change the placeholder property of this element and here you can see we have placeholder enter email and this is what is being used here so the placeholder enter email is being used I will change this again I will make this to enter email one and save and now from test project if I run this I will go back to my test and run it from here I will select Chrome browser and say run and let us see if it is able to identify and locate the element so it opens a Chrome browser navigates to the application and now you can see it is taking some time because we have again changed our locator so let us see if the self-healing technology works here and yes it was able to find the element and it was able to run our test and it is done and if I check the results so I can go to the reports from here or I can directly click on this icon and go to the reports and here is the report and here are the steps and if you see here you will see the step that was auto healed has this icon here and if I go to the details you can see all the details here and it says that it was found by this particular locator and this was the locator that was found after auto healing and this was the 
original locator so again it has used a different locator to find our object and it is now able to run our test so you can see how useful it can be now let us see another very good example i will go back to my project and add a new test now this time i want to check if i am able to get a object which is inside a hover action so if i go to the test project website that is testproject.io here you can see we have some menu items here and here i can hover over any of these menu and then i can select some of the elements here now what i need to check is if i select recorder which is under the platform menu and we just have to hover over it is it able to find this so for this i will go and create a web test and i will again say this ai demo and next and here i have to use the test project website i will copy this and say add new application this is the url i will say test project and say finish and next and click on record and say start recording and this opens a chrome browser and the recorder window all right so now we can see on the recorder window we just have a single step that is navigate to the application now if you see as i am going and hovering over this element or this menu item nothing is getting recorded but when i click on this item that is recorder link it will get recorded and you can see it has got recorded here however we cannot directly go to this recorder link unless we hover over this platform link so this is what we are going to check if test projects ai is able to find exactly where the recorder link is and is able to perform the actions so i will pause it now and click on run again and let us see what happens so you can see it is still waiting and now here you can see it is saying the test project ai is looking for another path forward and let us see what happens now so the test projects ai has finally found the recorder link under the platform link and it has hovered over the platform link to find recorder link and click on it so you can see how the ai technology can be useful in these types of operations and i hope you can appreciate the ai capabilities and the self-healing capabilities of test recorder which will help you a lot in your daily automation and making it more flexible durable and it will save a lot of time and effort i hope this session was very useful for you if you have any questions or any doubts you can let me know and i will try to answer as soon as i can and i will meet you in the next session of test project thank you for watching